Welcome to another Security Tracks training video. Today we're going to show you how to create a recurring invoice for one of your customers. First, you need to open up the customer, which I have here, and then we need to click on accounting. And we can go to our recurring invoices. Now, to add a recurring invoice, of course, click the Add button. It pulls up a page and this has our monthly charge uh, that it can pre-populate. It's already set on the customer information page, so I do want it to uh, pull that in, of course. So I'll hit next. And you can see up here, we've got a start date just by default is set for tomorrow, but I want to start charging them December 1st. So I'm going to find December 1st on the calendar and then that will hit their account on the first of every month. So they're paying me uh, the monitoring on the first of every month. The term, so we want to select due on receipt so that it will go on the first. Uh, and if you had selected net 15, 30 or 60, right, it would collect the payment 15 days after this date or 30 days or 60 days after that date. So we want due on receipt. Now it's gonna recur every uh, once a month and, and it's going to recur until I stop it. Um, and if you want to set a specific number of days for it to recur, you can do that as well. You just turn this off and then you set the number of times to recur. However, I like to keep this on uh, so it just keeps going unless there's some kind of change on the account. And then when that happens, I'll just go ahead and delete this one and recreate a new one. Okay, so let me tell you what this does right here. Email on creation. If I select that and turn it on, it's going to generate the invoice based on this invoice template that I'm creating. And it's going to email the customer this invoice seven days before the due date. So like a week before this date of December 1st, they're going to get uh, an email copy of the invoice that's due. And then when that payment hits, I can turn this one on and this is email on processing. So when their card gets processed or their account gets processed, it will email them a receipt of that and they'll know that their that balance is now at zero if it was successful. And then if it was failed, they'll also know that th there was an issue uh, with their form of payment method. So, all right, so moving down here, uh, you can see there is a payment method here and it's in there, but we haven't selected it. So be careful that you don't forget this step. It's important. So you actually have to click on it to get the blue check mark and that will add it uh, to this recurring invoice as the form of payment. Uh, we can already see we have the MMR chosen and it's $39.99, which is good. I am charging tax. So that's good, I've got that in there. If I wanted to change that, override the tax, uh, I could override it here and then edit it. Uh, and then up here, I, I scrolled down a little bit, but you can see the billing name, you've got an alternate recurring email address. So if I had an accountant, maybe that was part of a business, I could put their email address in there and they could also get a copy of this invoice uh, and you know, if they're the ones that make the payment or maybe keeps up on the accounting, then they might want that. So that's how that goes to them. So billing address, customer side address, all of that good stuff is in there. So, okay, uh, that's pretty much it to set this template up. I mean, you can add a note on the invoice if you want to. Uh, it will go on the invoice each time. Uh, and that's a note to the customer. And then there's a spot for internal notes too, if you want to add anything there. And then last but not least down here, you've got a way to edit an email message that the customer would receive uh, upon getting the, the invoice emailed to them. So, okay, that is all of it. And that is how you set it up. And that is it. So I'm gonna save that. And now we are good to go. We're set up uh, for the monthly recurring. Uh, to be pulled out of this customer's account once a month starting December 1st. Okay, that'll do it.